Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to show you how we can use JavaScript to be able to copy text into your clipboard and be able to paste it anywhere we want. So here is a simple tutorial that I've created. So if I click the copy button and then I can paste it here in the notepad. All right, so this is good user experience for whenever you want to provide a user some kind of information that they want to share with someone else or be able to paste it somewhere else. So let's jump into Visual Studio Code and let's get started. All right, guys, I have VS Code open here. I have two files created here, index.html and index.js. Okay, so in the HTML, I'm going to create our boilerplate by clicking, by pressing Shift 1, Enter. And then for the title, I'm just going to say copy text. And our HTML is going to be really simple here. So I'm going to have a P tag, and I'm going to say copying this text. And then we're going to have a button. And this button is just going to say copy text. OK, and let's give some IDs here so we can grab it in the JavaScript. So we're going to say copy text btn. And this is going to be an ID of copy. I'm just going to do text. OK. And I'm going to right click and open this with Live Server. If you guys don't have that extension installed, you want to install it from the extensions marketplace here and just type in Live Server and you should be good to go. OK, so I'm going to put this side by side. OK. I'm going to include the JavaScript. OK, so our JS is included. Now in our JavaScript, what we're going to do is every time this button is clicked, we're going to run a function that will copy this text above. OK, so what we're going to do is first create a function and call this copy text. And I'm going to make this a generic function so that it could be called in the case if you had any number of copy text in different web pages, you can use use this function. So I'm going to say HTML element is the parameter that needs to be passed in. And now I'm going to get the button and attach the on click uh, event handler to it. So I'm going to say document.query selector. And I call this copy text btn. I'm going to say on click. And I'm going to set that equal to an anonymous function. And in this function, I'm going to call copy text. And we're going to pass in the HTML element of the p tag, which is just text. OK, cool. So I'm going to have just a guard of the argument here. So I'm going to say if HTML element, if it's false, so I'm just going to return here. Okay, so otherwise, what we're going to do is first thing is we need to grab the text of this uh, p tag right here. Okay, so we're going to say, let element value, or let's just say element text equal to HTML element dot inner text. OK, so the way that we get the copy text to work is we need to create a temporary input element and add it to the DOM. And then we need to call, uh, call this command called exec command. And I'll go into that in just a little bit. But if you're wondering why we need to do this, uh, the exec command. So let me just explain this now, actually. Exec command is a part of the document object. And it takes in a parameter uh, argument and we're going to say copy. OK, so what it does is it will look for whatever in the document is selected. OK, and that's what it will copy. OK, so in or for a P tag, uh, that would be pretty difficult to do. So th it doesn't work really well with anything besides a text area element and a input tag. But let's say you want to have just a P tag that uh, can be copied. So this is a you know, efficient way of doing it, just creating an input element in the DOM and then just destroying it afterwards once it's copied. OK, so we have the exec command that will be last. What we're going to do here is say 
let input element equal to document dot create element and I'm just going to say input okay and right below this I'm going to say input element dot set attribute we're going to set the value of this to element text okay and then we're going to add this to the DOM so I'm going to say document dot body append child I'm going to use append child so that it works for IE 11 for those of you that need to have the cross browser functionality and in here I'm going to just pass in input element so now that you guys I want to, I want you guys to be able to see this so if I hit copy text well you see that the input element is created and added to the body and you can see the value is there okay so the next thing we need to do is if we run this command it won't actually copy anything <laughs> in fact it did yeah that don't know what that just did so the next thing we want to do is select uh, the input element uh, that we want to select the value that is inside the input element so we're going to say input element and then there's a function that we can call called select so now if I hit copy text it's selected and in fact I'm going to open up my notepad here and if I do control V you can see that it's already been copied so now that the text is copied what we want to do is we don't want the user to see this at all anything happening behind the scene so we need to destroy this input element and the way we can do that is simply by saying uh, document no not document input element dot parent node dot remove child and then this takes in the uh, input element argument that we'll pass in okay that takes an element and if we save save that copy text okay so you can see that if you click on that no one will be able to tell what exactly just happened behind the scene so now if I do control V there you go and I'm gonna just show you guys just to make sure that this works I'm gonna just type in some gibberish control C control V and then I'm gonna do copy text control V there you go that is working and that is really it for this tutorial guys if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoyed this or learned something from this please consider liking and subscribing thank you so much for watching see you next time